Hi guys, I'm back once again today with my pet ant colony. If you saw my video the other day, you know what I'm talking about. They're still here. So, if you see a little creepy crawly run across the screen, do not be surprised or shocked or scream or drop your coffee. Because I've had to learn to live with them because nothing we try works to get rid of them. Ugh. Anyway, I'm not scared of the creepy crawlers except for worms. Hate worms. Don't know why. Cannot stand them. <sighs> Give me a small heart attack every time I see one. But bugs and spiders and, you know, all the things that little boys love to play with, they don't bother me so much. I just squish them, kill them, you know, move on with my life. But when I'm trying to do stuff and they're everywhere, it just drives me crazy. In Oregon, you know, it's a very different experience than what it is in South Carolina. Did we have different kinds of crawly creatures here? Luckily, we actually do not have as many. The only thing I've ever had problems with were ants. The little teeny tiny ones that if you squish, they smell like licorice or something. But we have them every year and this year we're just bombarded with them. So anyway, let's get on with this video, shall we? Now that I've, you know, gave you a trigger warning trigger warning may include insects okay we're gonna flip through i don't think we've done a flip through of my a5 in a while so i thought i would let you see what's going on in there guys i'm on maybe week one of waiting for my vendor specs and i know that i got a lot of weeks ahead of me <sighs> i want them so bad i'm not patient i hate waiting that's why it took me so long to actually order you know, customs because I knew that this would be the issue and uh, this is so hard. It's just so hard. Okay. Well, this is my Kiki K. As you guys know, if you see my videos, I have bukus of Kiki K's and this came with the big large shipment that I got. This was the one that is the pale pink and it's really more of a, not so pink as it is like a, a, a very light, maybe peachy undertone i don't know i guess it depends upon what light the light i had lighting today is horrible the outside lighting you know i'm right underneath the window i may have to end up moving my desk to do better videos because you never know what you're going to get with the window view but anyway so this is what i've been in for the past couple of months as far as a5s go got my little ollie clip by the way i got two new ollie clips i posted them on my instagram so if you guys want to you know, see them up close on the Instagram. They're just gorgeous. Here is one. It's like a beautiful pale past, you know, matte color pink. Love this. And then this is the other one. This is my, one of my favorite color blues. I just love that. It's kind of like a cornflower blue. If you guys know what I'm talking about, isn't it beautiful? I just love the Ollie clips. I just love them. And this one has a purple one. So anyway, let's go inside, shall we? I'm trying to make sure you guys can get a little bit of a view. I do have her stuffed. I know that's a no-no for the rings, but there's just so much I wanted to put in her. I ended up going through her the other day and taking a lot of stuff out um, that was mainly just decorative so that I could fit more functional in. And I'll show you what I did. I've been making... Um, a lot of different weekly inserts. Um, not so much for my Etsy shop, just for me personally. Which, by the way, I made 75 cents off my Etsy shop this month. What? Is that amazing? Is that amazing? You guys go check out Tilda Tierra Design on Etsy. You'll find that my prices, it's all printables, but my prices are very good. Very good. So go check it out. Anyway, on with the show. So, these I've had in for about a year. My little girls, there's another one under here. They come from a Planners Anonymous box that I got from Michaels. They released two, and that's the only two they've done collab together, but I got both of them. And this was from the first one, I do believe, my little girls. I just thought they were stinking cute. And then this, I just think, goes really well with the, the pale pink. Um, that was, these come from Happy Planner, actually. I think one of, like, their, um, accessory packs. Thanks where they came from. Uh, little bows from Michaels. This one 
Now this is from Hobby Lobby, I think, these two little bows. And that's also from Hobby Lobby. This, I have no clue where I got it from. It's a butterfly, and you know me and butterflies. Totally dig them. Don't have much under there. Got some little sticky stuff in there. Oh yeah, there's my flower, my butterfly with my other flower, and a little card, and then of course this. Now this is what I got so tickled about when I got all my Kiki K's last time. They've started including this with the inserts, and it's a plastic dashboard. You guys know if you watched the, the um, video that I almost had a heart attack because I love them. They're perfect for page protectors. Absolutely perfect. And the thing about dashboards and things is uh, if you do order them, they're, they can be very expensive. So to get them along with the Kiki K's that I got, especially the price I got them, was like a major plus. And so I just put some stickers on them. This is from the Happy Planner sticker books. And then this is just some little things I got from Michael's. Um, put it on the front and I put them on the back just blue and then this gets to go bye bye today this is a free printable can't remember the shop um I think SM the uh SM plans I think that's what it is that's Sierra's but anyway I downloaded the July one too so I have that going on but I loved this one because I had my little goldfish in there and I love goldfish, even though my two Goldies passed a few months ago. And I was very sad because I loved those fish. I really did. I loved them so much. So here's my July. And I just printed it on regular paper instead of printing it on um, cardstock. Because, you know, I'm not going to keep it forever. Just for a month. So there's my July. Yes, she's stuffed. I have to do this. I am so embarrassed. <laughs> not really. Okay. And this is a vellum I made, Daydream. I've had this in here forever. Again, let's push her on over. There we go. One of my pretty pink folders that came with the Kiki K. I just put stickers on them to make them lovely. And that's for my monthly. Some of the Kiki K um, stickers I have. I have another sheet too that I might put in here because I love the dots. And that's just a Carpe Diem flipper flipper page marker this is a piece of acetate don't know where i got it probably got it with one of my um webster's pages because usually when you buy a webster's page the inserts that come in there have one of these which is really nice and so i just put some stickers on it to make it pretty my 2021 i designed that off canva i also designed this one on canva it's very simple watercolor flowers with a silhouette and then here's my, I think it's called, it's gpapery.com. <laughs> so you can go there if you like these monthlies. I like them. They're very good quality and they weren't horribly expensive. And you get a, a lot of extras with them. I'll show you in just a minute because this is um, a, a paycheck budget keeper. So for every week that I have a paycheck, or my husband has a paycheck. I go in, I put uh, it down and then put all the bills that had to be paid that month. And so I just printed out a few of those. I got it from an Etsy shop. Again, don't remember where. Um, monthly overview pages that I made myself. I made them a little bit too small. So that's one thing I'm doing right now is I'm working on some different things and I'm testing out sizes for them as well as, you know, how they work. But that is those. I have those. That's like more of the... 2021 year and here is may i can take her out i may just leave them in here though i think i should i don't know why i didn't but anyway so this was may it started in may and this these go all the way to ooh, 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 let me look for you to april of 2022 so got a whole year um so those are my pretty may inserts I don't decorate my monthlies as much as I used to because I need to actually write in them. <laughs> so I just get out other planners and decorate them beautifully and, you know, like a scrapbook and call it good. So anyway, I love the stickers. I am a sticker fiend. I do love the clean, functional, um, minimalist look, but I also love the stickers. So when it comes to planner design, that's my aesthetic. All of it's my aesthetic. I do prefer muted colors um, 
and more elegant looking covers over the big bright stuff. I don't particularly like that so much. So I do prefer the kind of muted colors. I guess that would be my aesthetic. So this was June and now here's July. So I also write my bills, you know, in that monthly too. And then of course I write when some of the bills are coming out that come out automatically. And then when the paydays are, oh boy, when I was working, oops, gotcha, almost lost you. When I was working, every Friday was payday because my husband's and, and my paydays were, you know, um, he would get his twice and I get mine twice, but it came on every week. So every Friday was a payday. Miss those days. And then August. So anyway, if you like these, they're actually not an A5 size. They are half page size, um, which is a little bit taller and a little bit shorter than A5. It goes in the half page disc planners that um, like Staples has, and those kinds of things. But you can get them punched for A5. I make most of my stuff that I make is half page because it's just easier. You know, it's a, it's a just a letter size piece of paper that's cut in half. Not a lot of hard there, you know, it's very pretty, pretty, pretty easy. So anyway, there is that. And then your last page is a little note page. But I just like them. They, uh, the paper quality is really nice. It's really smooth. It's, it's bright. And, you know, obviously just a real nice, clean look to it. Then you got your uh, last month and then the upcoming month down there. So absolutely awesome. Gpaperie.com if you're interested in that. Um, just a little dashboard I made. I may end up taking her out too. I kind of like her because I like of the muted colors I did. It, it kind of just goes with uh, the planner. That's why I didn't, haven't ripped her out yet to, <laughs> to make room. And this is another piece of acetate layered, layered over. See, it says bloom with grace and it's got the pretty flower. Oops, I'm getting some bubbles. Look at the bubbles. That would drive some people who have OCD crazy. I don't have OCD about stuff like that, so I'm good. But, and like I said, I just layered over my pretty dividers that came with it. This is a fold-out version of all the bills that automatically come on, you know, every month. This was, oh, let's see if I can remember which one she is. <laughs> Can't remember right now, but this printable, oh, here we go. It's called paper test designs. So this printable is actually a four piece design. So it's got like four ways you can use them weekly or you can use them all together. I mean, it's really customizable. It was off Etsy. So if you want to check that out, paper test designs, really, really, I just thought it was really cool. The only thing I didn't like about it is that um, the lines are so light gray. It's actually kind of hard for me to see them. Um, you might not have a problem, depending upon your eyesight. I do, I tend to make mine a little bit darker simply because of that reason. Some of us are, you know. So this was the paycheck for 611. Let's see, there is um, my first week of June. Now you're gonna see a ton, a ton, a ton of different weeklies in here because that's what I've been doing. I've been printing weeklies as well as making weeklies. These are really cool because I was trying to see if I can find one that's not already made up, but these are just really, really cool because you got the month on them, but there's it can be used for every single year, June or July for the rest of your life because they come, the a file comes with the entire, you know, year of months. So that's really, really cool. And I do, I like the, you can't see how clean it looks because I put stuff all over it. But it has a very nice, clean look and plenty of room to write. There's another one, not quite decorated as much, so you can see it has a habit tracker down there, but I don't use this one because I only use the one in my health planner. So I don't use that habit tracker. And then this is some, uh, that is last month's last paycheck. I take that out. So this is one that I made. And I'll show you some of those that are clean in a moment. This is another one that I found that I really, really like. And it is scored so that you can cut it to A5. And I just didn't use the scoring um, right. So I had to use my own. Well, you use it sometimes your printer's a little bit off. 
and that will make the scoring not work totally, you know, like it should. But I like these a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, your day consists of a blank page as well as lined. And it's just a really cool look. And you have priorities you can list here and a habit tracker that you can list there. I, I really like that one. Can't remember where I got it from. Okay, so this is one I made last night. Um, if you've seen the ones that fold out, I've not used a lot of those, so I decided to try and make myself one and see if I liked it. So what I did was I've got, can you see, the monthly planner here, a checklist section here, and then Monday, and it's all timed. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I decided, hey, I'm gonna give that one a shot, probably next week and see how I like that. I cut all of my paper so I can just rip them out and not have to use, you know, open the rings so much, but it does mess your paper up, especially when you stuff it like I do. And then here is another one I made. I've made several that kind of look like this, different variations of it. Um, you just get to put your priorities there and then, you know, the rest of your week. You're gonna hear my puppy bark. The puppy's always barking. I've got my little granddaughter now where she goes, hush. <laughs> I'm trying to get her to say hush puppy because I think that would be hilarious. So anyway, I got a few of those. And then this one, I've got one. I My printer went nuts on this one. This one did not come out at all how it is supposed to look. I've been having issues with my printer. And sometimes for some reason, it just kind of, it just prints out almost like a half file because this is supposed to be colored in here. Oh, let me see if I have, oh yeah, this was what I, what I was attempting. I'll show you what I was attempting here. I cut these down because it's smaller and I just, so this is essentially what it was supposed to do only, okay, you see how nice and um, sealable everything is? The only thing I went in and did is I, I made the font different and smaller as well as the little pink sections here just because I thought it looked better with a smaller and it was a, um, more of a um, um, script uh, style font. So you can see the font and see that I made those much, much smaller, but the color didn't come out and the uh, lines didn't come out. So I don't know, I'll have to work on that, but I threw it in there anyway, just because you know, I hate wasting stuff and hate wasting paper. This one I made, Again, all the stuff I make on Canva, sometimes I use pre-made um, templates that they have and then add stuff to them. And sometimes I will just use, you know, just make them myself. These were both templates that I kind of uh, changed around a little bit. This one needs to be bigger, but the whole thing I was doing was having your week here and then you go and do notes and stuff there. So like that one okay <laughs> this one is just like you can tell just a week on one page which this one's hard for me to do with anything smaller than a than an a5 i just can't i write too big so if i were to you know make it smaller for my oh now fly through flew in oh my gosh oh, i'm sure a hornet's nest is coming through at any moment now we'll just have to wait and see but anyway this is I can't use this in like my uh, personal wide or any of those. It's just too small and my handwriting is too big. I wish, I love on Instagram, you see all these people who do these really crazy, awesome weekly layouts with this teeny tiny writing and it just looks so fantastic. Can't do it. Your girl can't do that. Just can't, just can't. Here's another one I made. Uh, you can see the difference in the lines. That was just some laziness on my part. <laughs> That's all that was. Ah, I had already done one side and then I don't know what I was thinking. But I, anyway, it's still kind of cute. Still kind of cute. I usually put washi on lines anyway. But this one is off a little bit measurement wise because you can't see those. But like I said, these are I'm mostly making for myself. And then I have this one. Did I make these? 
I think I did. I made these. Another creepy crawler. Yeah. So this one is it's kind of like the one I told you that I loved only I went in and I tweaked it for myself for what I will and will not use because I don't really use the monthlies on the one page and stuff, but I did do a, a grid for the note. Anyway, the printer was acting up again. You can see the little, it did not, has little cuts in the lines. And that means that either the, um, it says it's because you're, you need to clean your cartridges and everything, which I do. I'll go through and I'll do it and I'll do it. And then within a day or two, it comes back that way again. So I don't know. And then there is one of the ones I was showing you earlier. This is just a clean one, what it looks like. Your habit tracker down here, to-do list here, month there. I like, I really, really like the way this one looks. Priority section, note section. I think this is an excellent, excellent weekly. Uh, I have several of those in here because I like them so well. And then there's another one of those that is clean and, you know, for writing. I think that one's really, really fantastic. Another one page that I made for myself. Um, I think in order to use this one, maybe I'd have to also make um, it a two-page one where I have the priorities and notes and stuff like that for the day, for the week, excuse me. But I still try to make it look a little bit clean. I always have to throw me a little bit of color in there. I just can't help myself. And then another one of those, I think I put several of those in here. Oh, and I did this one. Um, I like these kind a lot. The big print, not so much. I definitely prefer like a script print. I think it looks nicer. But you can see my lines, how they're different from the ones that I print. Uh, from Etsy. I like to make them. These are gray, but they're darker gray, so they're still easy to see. And it's like I said, with my eyeballs, that's important, ladies. Very important. So, let's see if I have it. Oh, yeah, I have this kind that I did. Just very simple. Do little bows in there. I also make these sometimes with lines here because it's just easier for some people to write. Uh, you probably can't see it because the lighting is so poor right now, but it has a, a little faint of uh, pale pink bubbles going down through there. So, again, that matches this planner very well, along with the bow being black. But I, I do like these. I like them a lot. Um, I started using this kind, actually, with my A6. I did, I did, but I made these for my A5. I don't know if I have them listed or not. It may be, and I think I made some more with something else on the top too. But yeah, I put several of those in there because I liked them. And then there's another, this one I like better than I did. This is a week on uh, one page and I think I could use this one much, much better because I have a section for notes and I put a to-do list there. So think I could use that one much easier. I haven't used it yet. These are all trial things. This one came, I think this one was a free printable and I can't remember what shop it came from. But yeah, this is a weekly to-do list. So you could use this as your main weekly or just, you know, what is you got overflow items, priorities here, and then Sunday, Monday, just a little, you know, there you go. That's our, I think that's a very usable one. And a weekly to-do list. They, oh, these are the rest of the ones from um, Paper Test Designs. You also get, the, like I said, the weekly list. So it's like a to-do list, lots of room. Then you get the weekly agenda, which is kind of like what I had back there. The weekly agenda, and this would be more like a vision board for the week. Um, and then you also get this. It, it's like I said, it comes with all of it. And just really, really cool, really, really cool. But these are very, like here, it's very, very small. So again, I don't think I would use this anything but an A5 cause it'd be very hard for me to write in those anyway, but you've got so much more that you can utilize in these. It's just, it's, it's very customizable. I really, really saw it. I actually saw it on Instagram and I asked, I told her I loved them and asked her where did she get them? And it turned out it was hers from her Etsy shop. And so she just gave me the link and I went and got them. 
and then printing them out. And then there's more of my paycheck. Okay, and then from there, those are a bunch of the weeklies I have. I don't have them dated or anything yet because I don't know what I want to do, um, you know, as far as which ones I'm gonna use. I'm gonna try and use a different one every week. That keeps me from getting bored. So this is my daily section. I have another piece of acetate with a layering over vellum. So that's today and then layer over this vellum piece. I've had that for a while too. I made that a long time ago. So these are some of the dailies I have made. I love dailies. So much fun. Thing about it is though in my A5, I don't use dailies very often because rarely do I have enough to actually utilize it and fill a full A5 size page up. So I usually do those either in my A6 or my personal wide, but I still make them. <laughs> So this just has your uh, time schedule, top priorities for that one, this one. I just thought it was pretty. I made, you know, the colors really, really pretty and stuff. Just cute. Wouldn't be able to fit as much in this one though because of the way it's formatted. That's the funny part. This is just kind of like a, oh, you could even just use this as like a little journaling page. It's not really a daily page. Just dirt, you know, dirt, the little journaling. I made them a couple of different ways. More of that, more of that, more of that and that. I did this one also. And then this one doesn't have any kind of um, really label or anything. It just says to do. And then you can do a running to-do list here with notes. I love lavender. So you'll see lavender on a lot of my stuff too. And then this one I made a while ago. And this is for people who absolutely cannot write small because there are those people out there. You know, a lefty like me, the smaller writing is very hard to do. But, so you got your top three um, priorities and then your to-do and your notes. And you don't have to write small unless you wanna put more in there. This one I did a while ago. This is one of my best sellers on Etsy, actually. And everybody seems to really like this one. I just gave your morning, afternoon, evening task. Uh, pro any projects you might be working on, to-do list, and priorities. So, and then my little pink bows. People really seem to like this one. So, and then here's one. It's just got your um, date to-do list, uh, top three. And this is kind of like, um, you know, for people who have chronic illnesses because you got your AM meds, your PM meds. And then I also put uh, down here for a daily verse. You know, you... You can either use like a Bible verse or a, an inspirational quote, that kind of thing. I got tagged on Etsy. Um, they don't, they're not letting anybody use Spoonie anymore because uh, one of their sellers apparently copyrighted the Spoonie, <laughs> which is kind of funny for me. I talked to that particular seller and, you know, um, the thing about it is he's not the one that coined the phrase, so uh, he, he just copyrighted it, so the rest of us can't use it. Anyway, so from now on, anything like this that I put up on my um, Etsy shop will have to say like chronic illness or that kind of thing until someone possibly copyrights that as well. We'll see. And then this one, I really like this too. But you got fitness, yeah, I don't do that. Self-care, I do my best. Gratitude, absolutely. Water intake, nah. This is a meal planner for breakfast, lunch, dinner, you know, a snack. And I usually put coffee, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. <laughs> Cause you girls know, I don't plan my meals. My husband and I just kind of go like, what do you feel like? What do you feel like? You know, and, and we usually try to go for the easiest thing, which is not necessarily a good thing. You know, easy is not always good. But then you've got your schedule right here, top priorities, and it's got where you can write in the time. So that's kind of cool. But anyway, I like those a lot. I did this one a long time ago. Priorities, appointments. Uh, and I also did this one for the chronic illness, AKA Spoonie community. Um, symptoms here that you may be having and then your AM and PM med list. Uh, even have a mood tracker down there, so. Put a lot of stuff in that one and i printed out several of those and then more of my what's up ones um okay then also have 
this one. And the last up. That one, which is pretty cool. I like the today's mood right here. <laughs> I like all the little, little fellas. Another daily. And this one, I, I like the way it looks, but it's an, I don't like the way I use it. Or, you know. Again, you got water meal planner to do list morning, afternoon, evening. You know, but it's just should be. I would like for it to be less here and more here, and it has a shopping list. So I try to make things sometimes that appeal to, to everyone, but it doesn't always necessarily appeal to me. Um, this one, top priority, time schedule, important reminders, meal plan. Water intake, note to self. Another one along the same lines. Another one. Today's big goal, get up before noon is usually mine. <laughs> I know it sounds horrible, but it is true, it's very true. So this just gives you kind of a little oversight of what I, I do. And see, I, occasionally I'll do colorful stuff, not always. Ooh, ooh, more of those and then after all of that and now you see why I had to take out so much of my decorative stuff because I put so much as far as the dailies and even though you don't need that much it, honestly in your planner I think most people would do better if they would just keep a month at a time in their planner you know because that way you're just concentrating on that month it may be hard for some people because like me sometimes my appointments get made a month two months in advance so i kind of have to you know have that available in there but for most people that don't have doctor appointments all over the place i think just doing your one month is sufficient you don't have to kill the rings in your planner so this is my inbox and if you know anything about my inbox that basically means personal 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 so i have gratitudes more pretty folders that hide all the stuff that I can't share with the world. You know me, I'm very open. I'd share anything. Unfortunately, some people out there just misuse that. So that's that's bad. All right, guys. That is my Kiki K A5 and how I am currently using her. I love experimenting with um, different kinds of weeklies and dailies. And this is one of the planners I do that most in because my you know, my health planner, which right now is my Aurora Estelle, Chloe, is just, you know, I don't deviate so terribly much on it simply because it is where I keep most everything. And this one's chunky too. I did order these from, oh, what was the company? Oops, I forgot. But anyway, they're nice dividers beautiful beautiful pink color not bright pink a nice pale pink i just love them and then i still kept my acetates in here plus i have uh, the clear ones and get rid of june but yeah i just i use two different kinds of weeklies in here and that's basically just to keep my brain functioning correctly <laughs> i use um these as well as these. So the, this came from Jane's Agenda along with the monthly spread. And these, oh, where did I get these? I get them from her every time. And yeah, I never remember, but that's what they look like. And I get the dated ones because in here, that works better for me. I don't have to go in and date anything. I am, without a doubt, I'll be using them. So, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people, and this makes sense, gets undated planners and, and inserts because that way you're not pressured. Oh, I have to use this one or it won't be good anymore. You're not pressured. You just use them as you need them. And that makes a lot of sense. So that's what I do with all my other planners. But when it comes to this, uh, this is the only one that uh, in my weeklies that I usually actually get dated ones because it is my health planner. It is my main go-to everyday carry. So I know it's going to be full. <laughs> okay, because I write in this every day, every day, and she's got all kinds of stuff in her, you know. 
Isn't that's pretty? Is that not pretty? That's pretty. But yeah, she's, you know, she's my main girl. But when my new custom um, vendor specs get here, she will obviously have to give up her throne. Because <laughs> one of them is, you know, personal wide like this one. Then I got another one that's the A6 widened. So I'm so excited. But that may not happen for a couple of months. Maybe longer. Believing for the best. Believing for the best. But since we're getting into those holiday seasons and everybody's wanting to get everything ordered so they can, you know, get presents, that's when, you know, it kind of gets down to the wire. I'm hoping since I ordered mine, you know, in June that it will... I'm hoping I get it by September at least. That would be super awesome, you know. We'll see. We shall see. Anyway, ladies, that is all I got for you today. Hope you enjoy this flip through. I always enjoy them. I enjoy everyone's flip throughs because I like spying on other people and what they use. It gives me lots of inspiration and ideas. But anyway, hope you enjoy this and I will see you next time. Bye.